Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. Today for you guys, we are going to be reacting to a new video by The Odd Ones Out or James called My Thoughts on Tattoos. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I don't have any tattoos personally, but I do think they're super cool. Before the video starts, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys always show. It really does mean a lot to me. Leave a comment down below who you guys want me to react to in the future and one cool tattoo idea that you've ever had. If you ever were going to get a tattoo or you do have a tattoo, let me know a cool tattoo idea you had. Anyway, make sure you guys leave a like on James's video too, but that's all I got for you guys. Let's get right into the video. Here's a little social interaction life <laughs> hack I've discovered. If okay. you're meeting someone new and you want to get to know them better, and you see oh. any semblance of a tattoo peeking out of their sleeve, <laughs> say <something>. rag rats. <laughs> if that person doesn't want to talk about their tattoos, they'll yeah. say, "Oh, thank you." Yeah. Anyway, this is my stop. <laughs> and they're gone. They do want to talk about their tattoos. Oh, he's green. Their face will light up, and then they'll do the rest of the talk. <laughs> I, I guess that's cool. That by giving you this advice, now anytime I compliment someone else's tattoos, oh it will gosh. seem disingenuous. But it's <laughs> yeah, you're close. Most of the time, I love oh. all of your tattoos. That's right. Oh, I'm talking oh. to you. Oh my gosh. I love your what tattoos, happened to him, dude? Whether it's what? how you got Why is it on his butt? <laughs> the behind the tattoo or being a tattoo of something you like, oh. every tattoo is a story. And most okay. people love telling stories about themselves. Yeah, fair. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> I never understood why some people liked talking about their tattoos. Oh, the bunny. Until I got one of my own. Oh, you think I'm gonna I don't make know a whole video about tattoos when I didn't even have any? That's right. I'm oh, a oh. marked man, mom. Oh, oh my gosh. What are you going to do about it? Oh, my Stop gosh. Stop unconditionally loving me? <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, what are you doing with that cheese grater? Okay, but in all seriousness... Oh, wait! <laughs> can you make sure grandma doesn't see this video, mom? I, I don't want to upset her on the way out. Back in the oh, day, no. tattoos used to be a symbol of rebellion and meant you couldn't get a job. Okay. No regerts, baby! Regerts! I feel like tattoos are getting more and more accepted, if not expected. Yeah, no, they're fine Jack these days, I guess. guy covered in tattoos and think, <laughs> okay, He's yeah, ginormous. he was meant to look like that. For me, the <laughs> idea of being a badass tattooed guy with a sketch pad and a beanie and oh. ripped jeans uh, and a yeah. beaded bracelet. Is that the Hatsune Miku option? cool to me. But like most people, when it came to tattoos, I had reservations. Fair. Ooh, this is going to be on my body forever? Yeah, no fair. What if I hate it? I had an idea once <laughs> getting these five Magic the Gathering symbols tattooed okay. on my forearm. I even dotted them out in Sharpie once just to give them a test drive. But okay. I ultimately decided not to get them because I was worried in five years I would go, Oh, these? Uh, I was really into Magic the Gathering in my 20s. Not anymore, <laughs> though. So now every morning I wake up with <laughs> impending feelings of shame and remorse that I even decided to oh, get this thing. Oh, my gosh. I didn't want that to happen, even though I've been playing Magic for over 15 years. And <laughs> lost me. And I'm going to be no, it's <laughs> feather. Cat. All right, maybe I should just get it. Yeah, just Even go get it. <laughs> people know that tattoos are permanent, yeah. there are still way more bad tattoos than there should be. One yeah. time I saw this picture no, it still scares me. on a bad tattoo subreddit, and I thought it'd be Ooh. funny to prank my family group chat by photoshopping that tattoo onto my arm. No! And then I thought it'd be funny to post that picture onto Instagram. I didn't think That's anyone insane. would fall for this poor excuse of a Photoshop job, <laughs> but then the internet and my family proved me wrong. Oh, gosh. I started getting phone calls from my parents and even my they said, what me did up you was do? Like, did you actually get that tattoo? No, no. it's not a real <laughs> tattoo. I mean, it is a real tattoo, but it's on someone else's body. Unfortunately. That's their cross to bear. <laughs> there you it can is. only imagine what that person's family and book agent went through. My parents <laughs> were agent. not supportive of me getting tattoos. Okay. But whose are, am I right? Oh, Some gosh. people, like my parents, say that your body is like a temple. Yeah, fair. Putting tattoos is I like that. putting graffiti on it. That. Which, sure, okay. Uh, okay. That's why I <laughs> um. paid a professional graffiti artist to paint my temple exactly how I want. Oh, also, nice. <laughs> you can't tell me not to deform my body when that's exactly what you did before I was even 24 hours old. Oh, also, no. Jesus <laughs> had piercings, and he loves showing them off to well. his buddies. So <laughs> I think you'd be chill with a little tattoo. After much thought and deliberation, <laughs> I finally settled on what my first tattoo would be. This was going to be permanently inked onto my body for the rest of my life. Okay. I got Bro, bro's asleep. He's a not. tattoo tattoo in Courier New. Luckily, the artist was able to finish this in one session. It took quite a while, almost five whole minutes. Now, let me explain why I got it. It was so that if anyone ever that. asked me, <laughs> I does not have any it. tattoos? I could go, why, yes, I do. And then roll up my sleeve, and then I'd go, 
When I showed off my tattoo tattoo I can't. on Jaden's screen, I can't. I can't. There was one comment that said, James having tattoo actually tattooed onto him is exactly the kind of tattoo I expected James to have. Yeah, and that fair. made me feel really good because that meant the tattoo. <laughs> How to diffuse a bomb. <laughs> and the second reason I got the tattoo was because I wanted to rebel. <laughs> oh Since my tattoos gosh. were frowned upon growing up, I wanted to have one just to have one. So okay. I got a tattoo with no meaning whatsoever. <laughs> Which, in a way, is the meaning. Even though the tattoo tattoo was small and usually covered up by my sleeve, yeah. I still felt anxious about getting it. And I continued no, to feel that way for about a week after I got it. It was a yeah. jump scare. And it doesn't Every leave. Saw it, in the mirror, <laughs> it really doesn't. And I would look at it closely and go, yep, that's really in there. <laughs> sure hope I don't regret this. But then oh, after man. some time, the tattoo tattoo just became a part of me. It like, just I didn't look in the mirror and go, yep, there's James and Tattoo. I would go, <laughs> yep, there's James. And, and stop. <laughs> and from it. that day on, I loved giving people advice on tattoos. <laughs> As a marked man myself, <laughs> oh I my gosh. absolutely <laughs> get that Shadow the Hedgehog full back piece. YOLO, remember? No, wait. What? Wait. You're worried that it's going to look bad when you're 70? Yeah, yeah, it's going to look bad when you're 70. Yeah. You're 70. Oh, Don't no. think about <laughs> how bad it's going to look. Think about how much you're going to enjoy it from now to when you're 69. I've uh, known well. people <laughs> age who still hide their tattoos from their parents, but like the honest prodigal son that I am, I wasn't going to be doing that. But well, the next yeah. time I visited my parents, I walked into their house, and the very first thing my mom said to me was, do you have any tattoos? Uh, she beat me to the punch. Dang. Uh, what? Cooked. Why? Why? Why would you ask that? No, he's cooked. Because he's cooked. last night. Why is Jesus everywhere in this house? We came home and were covered in tattoos. Oh. So which one of you incepted my mom? <laughs> God. It I may said, have been. <laughs> are tattoos bad. Yes, all of them are bad. Even this one. And I rolled up my sleeve and revealed my massive tattoo. I just imagine she fainted. Reaction was. Ah. Oh, well, it's not the worst word to have permanently inked on your body. Later on, she said, if you go to a Star Wars party, you could change it to Tatooine. So oh, my god! I gosh. think she took it pretty goodly. Oh, now, my gosh. Now, some of you might be thinking that my epic <laughs> I see where James gets it from now. isn't that big a deal. It's tiny and can only be seen if I'm swimming or boxing or not boxing. wearing a tank top. <laughs> but you see, after getting tattoo, tattooed, you know. I experienced what people in the tattooing business call catching the bug. After oh, seeing no, how yeah, much he's, I he's liked got it my now. first tattoo and knowing that I could handle having a tattoo, <laughs> I was ready to <laughs> get guy. something. That's just stare at it. I set up a big boy tattoo appointment with an artist I like, and when I was in the tattoo shop, the artist asked, is this your first tattoo? <laughs> is this my first <laughs> tattoo? Uh, no, sweetheart. I, I think I know a thing or two about um, tattoos. Um, so, without further ado, I would like to debut okay. this out of the blue okay. tattoo. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. The edit. You know, from the Dark Crystal, the Jim Henson 80s puppet movie. Oh that, my god. I remember I this. We reacted to this. Permanently inked onto my skin forever and ever. Oh that movie my gosh. will always hold a special place in my heart, and now it'll hold a special place under my skin. And now, whenever <laughs> I show someone the Chamberlain, we end up talking about the Dark Crystal, which is great because that's what I wanted to talk about anyway. Oh my god. I just discovered an autistic conversational cheat code. When I was getting yeah, it done, no. the artist asked me if there were any other tattoos that I wanted to get, and I said, why, yes, I do. I wanted to get the computer from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, because oh. I also love that series, and because I'm a computery guy. <laughs> and I didn't realize until as I was explaining it to the artist that both of these characters are puppets, so I don't know what that says <laughs> about my psyche. James. I never thought that I liked puppets that much. Oh, but if <laughs> he's discovering stuff about himself. me in the comments, that'd be great. And oh. speaking of YouTube comments, I know a lot of people are going to bring this up, so I'm just going to address it right now. Okay. <sighs> you probably noticed that Chamberlain isn't holding his iconic triangle scepter. Yeah. yeah I already oh, well, know I wasn't thinking that. about that. <laughs> That's because he's holding the Emperor's scepter. It's like my own little head cannon. He got to be the nice. Emperor because he's cool and awesome and 
dark crystal fans. You, you think I don't know my lore? I didn't get the oh bronze my gosh. scepter or anything. You, you think I, I promise you I wasn't thinking about, about this. the dark crystal? Oh my gosh. You know what happened? I own a Chamberlain statue because of course I do. And I took <sighs> pictures of it to send as a reference image to the artist. And I totally forgot that I accidentally broke off his triangle scepter. And now because of that, he's holding an entirely different scepter on the <laughs> tattoo. But you know what? I don't care. There it is. This one's better. It's a more clear silhouette. Now, <laughs> this time when I went to show my parents the tattoo, oh boy. I don't know exactly what I was hoping for, yeah. but I wanted to see some There it is. I knew it. Clutching. You know, just some real disappointment. Chamberlain had to be split up into two sessions, and I only got one done when I went to Arizona for a wedding. I okay. saw my mom, and she didn't immediately ask me if I had any more tattoos. Okay. God didn't tattle on me this time. I well, told her, Mom, I gotta tell you something, privately. What is it? I need you to keep a secret from Grandma. Okay. okay? I'm serious. Grandma can't uh, find out about this. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Look, it's Chamberlain, and I showed her the unfinished tattoo, and she went, "Oh, do you even like the Dark Crystal that much? I mean, yeah, the plot's kind of mid, but it's a cool world. Why are you more <laughs> upset about my fake baby Yoda tattoo than my real Dark Crystal?" I mean, tattoo? I'd be more excited she about that care. too. I ain't gonna lie to you. Tattoo. And you know what? I actually showed my grandma too, and she liked it. I oh, can't nice. make these people mad, no matter what I do. Oh, One of gosh. my cousins is a tattoo so artist. The rebellion is not working. About tattoos, and my mom said, "Oh, you should get your cousin to finish it." And even nope. he said, "Do not do that." Speaking Most of definitely advice, not. <laughs> if you're thinking about getting a tattoo. I think you should wait. Obviously, okay. it's your body, your choice. But with the minimum age of tattoos being 18, and in some states 16 with parents' permission, yeah. I just can't imagine being happy with any tattoos 16-year-old James could think of. Fair. All I'm saying is that I'm glad I waited and gave myself time to really know if this is what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was. I no, it's, a, it's an important decision. You want to look as hardcore as possible, but you can still get a tattoo when you're like 23 and it, it'll look good. Trust me, <laughs> no matter what tattoo you get, it's a way to express outwardly to the world what you like, what you want to remember, <laughs> and who you are. Now, if you'll nice. excuse me, I'm about to get a full back piece of my grandma's face. There's literally no way my family wouldn't love that. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Go leave a like on James' video, too. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.